Hello, this is numbers lesson 4.3. In this, I will discuss how to find the remainder whenever number and divisor have a common factor. Now, for example, I am taking the case you want to divide 180 by 14. Now, what is the common vector? Common vector is 2. This is 2 into 90. This is 2 into 7. Now, we will keep aside 2. We will find the remainder when 90 is divided by 7. Very important. You have to keep aside the common factor and then you have to find the remainder when 90 is divisible by 7. Now we know that 90 divided by 7, 7 12s are 84, remainder is 6, remainder is 6, 90 by 7 remainder is 6, but final remainder, FR final remainder would be common factor into remainder our common factor was 2 into 6 remainder the total final remainder would be 12 and that will be your final answer if you calculate normally 180 by 14 the remainder would be 12 so that's a better way to calculate keep the common factor aside then calculate the remainder final remainder would be your common factor into the remainder you got now question number one is 7 power 101 by 35 now first question i am solving the next question you have to solve with me now you can see that 7 is common here you can say 7 power 1 into 7 power 100 this is 7 power 1 into 5 the 7 i will keep the common factor aside i will find the remainder whenever 7 power 100 is divided by 5 7 power 100 by 5 i will find the remainder now what's the basic we know that we have to replace number with remainder 5 1 the 1 remainder is 2 this become 2 power 100 divided by 5. So what I have done, I have replaced number with remainder. Number was 7, remainder is 2. Now which power of 2 give plus 1 or minus 1 remainder? We know that 2 square is 4. Now 4 divided by 5, remainder is minus 1. 5 minus 1 by 5, remainder is minus 1. 4 can be written as 5 minus 1. So remainder is minus 1. So can I say this 2 square power 50 by 5 4 power 50 by 5 now replace number with remainder 4 is the number remainder is minus 1 so minus 1 power 50 by 5 minus 1 even power is 1 so 1 by 5 remainder would be 1 your remainder is 1 so 7 power 100 divided by 5 remainder is 1 now we need to calculate the final remainder final remainder would be common factor into remainder very important to multiply common factor was 7 remainder is 1 so final remainder would be 7 so it means that 7 power 101 divided by 35 the final remainder would be 7 next question question number 2 please try to solve with me 2 power 96 by 96 you should, you should first try to solve yourself then look at the way I have solved now what common factor I can take 2 power 5 into 2 power 91 I can write 2 power 5 32 into 3 so 2 power 5 is the common factor keep this aside 2 power 91 by 3 I will find the remainder 2 power 91 by 3 now 2 by 3 remainder is minus 1 minus 1 power 91 by 3 minus 1 odd power is minus 1 so fine remainder is minus 1 but you know what is the relation between positive and negative remainder the magnitude of positive and negative remainder is equal to divisor so remainder would be plus 2 so it means that 2 power 91 divided by 3 remainder is plus 2 now final remainder final answer that would be common factor into remainder you got so common factor is 2 power 5 that is 32 remainder is 2 so 2 power 6 that is 64 will be your final answer so in this way you can calculate these kind of question whenever number and a divisor has a common factor so that was all about this lesson in next lesson i will discuss more on remainder thank you